Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. I've, I don't know when this is going to come out, but it feels been a long time since I've uploaded a video. I um, hope you all guys had a very good Christmas. Um, this video is going to be a WWE prediction video for the year of 2020. We're going to give, we have a list of different scenarios and we're going to predict what's going to happen and we'll then reveal it at the end of next year. Alright, so the first prediction we are doing is the Royal Rumble winners. Julian, would you like to go first on who you think will win both the men's and women's Royal Rumble matches? Okay, so I think for the men's Royal Rumble next year, I think the winner is going to be Roman Reigns. And for the women's Rumble, I think it will be someone that hasn't won it before. I the random face turn and the, the push that she's got in the last like couple months. I think Lacey Evans will win the female Royal Rumble. Okay. Alright. <laughs> your friend. Um I'm also agreeing with Julian with the the males. I think it has to be Roman Reigns. Yeah. No, no. I don't think anyone else could win it at this stage unless it's a like a surprise, which would be much better than Roman Reigns winning. But I feel like it's Roman's Royal Rumble to win. And the female one, I mean, I was gonna go with Shayna Baszler oh, to, win, to win the Raw Rumble, but I feel like the the Raw Rumble winner for the women's will focus more on the SmackDown title, and my pick would be Charlotte. I think it's gonna be Charlotte's gonna win the Raw Rumble, and she'll face. No, Charlotte's not on SmackDown, but she'll face this. That's how ask ask uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A few years ago. <laughs> yeah, no, I reckon Charlotte will win the Raw Rumble match. Not that I like Roman Reigns and Charlotte win the Raw Rumble, probably not the ideal situation. Nah. But I feel like Charlotte will win because she hasn't won it yet, and I feel like she's eventually going to win it, and I feel like this time she will win it. But yeah, that's yeah. my that's our prediction for the Raw Rumbles. Next one is a WO superstar who will not be with the company, who will leave in 2020. So they, can, so they can leave in 2020? Yes, they have to leave the company in 2020. Okay, so I I didn't actually take me that long to figure out who was I was going to pick. I, I, I took me about, I reckon, about a minute or two to decide. I'm picking Shinsuke Nakamura to leave WWE next year. What? No! <laughs> that is my pick. I feel like he doesn't... I feel like there's a lot of potential for Nakamura. But WWE can't seem to transition or translate him well to the American audience. And he's old. Well, he's not old, but he's at that age where he's like nearly 40. And if he's like, I mean, he might say that for like for his family side of it, which I probably didn't take into consideration. But I feel like if he wants to still wrestle, he's probably better off going back to New Japan or even try AEW. I think Shinsuke Nakamura will leave WWE in 2020. <laughs> okay. Well. For me, I was I was going to go the very obvious choice, Primo and Epico, but I reckon they'll hang on for another year. <laughs> My pick is someone who's going to leave is Matt Hardy. Okay, that's, that's a very yes. obvious pick as well. He's been tweeting a lot of things about how he's enjoyed his time with and then WWE and all that and since his return, and then you had Ricochet tweeting, you know, um, Honor being in the room with him, you know, good luck with everything he does or whatever. So. It's he's got a he's got a new kid, he's got a wife and a family, like I just said, so I'm assuming and if he doesn't go to AEW or anywhere else, but I think I think Matt Hardy will be gone during 2020. So next we're going to uh, say who is gonna be in the main event of WrestleMania 36. I've gone the very obvious uh, path here. I've gone if Roman Reigns wins the Royal Rumble, it will be Roman Reigns versus The Fiend in the main event of WrestleMania with Roman... Ah, uh, uh, fuck. <laughs> if Roman wins at WrestleMania, there's going to be so much fucking backlash from it that they're just going to put Roman exactly in the same spot they had him a few years ago. The Fiend is over as hell. Yeah, I don't think... I don't know who would win the match. I'll press it with, like, The Fiend. But it's Roman Fiend Universal Title Match. That's my prediction. I had the same prediction. I predicted Roman Reigns and The Fiend as well. Um, like I said, Fiend's really over. I like Roman Reigns, but I, I don't want him to get booed again. But I feel like if they do do this, 
Well, actually, now that I think about it, the, the Fiend's been turning everyone back into their old selves, everyone who's versing, so if he fights Roman, you're Roman. Yeah, Roman's <laughs> old self. Yeah. Really good. I'll continue that storyline. <laughs> I mean, I think that would be the main event. The Dairy title. It has to be Brock. Well, Brock. That's good. Tyson Fiend. It will be, 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 be like the big promotional match for uh, the Dairy mm-hmm. Championship, but mm-hmm. Roman and Fiend is our, our pick yeah. for the main Both our picks for the main event. Alright, next one is who will win the men's and women's money in the bank ladder match. Oh, um, I my pick for I'll do the women's first this time. My pick for the women's money in the bank is someone who's just randomly got all this attention from a certain new Hall of Famer, and I think it's going to help her a lot in 2020. And that's I think Dana Brooke will win the money in the bank in 2020, just because I think. They'll give the um. They'll try to give someone new, I think, an opportunity, and I think Dana Brooke will get that opportunity. I'll go on a very different path here. I think um, Sasha Banks is going to be Miss Money in the Bank uh, next year. I feel like she was really hot when she turned heel, and then she kind of went down again. So maybe winning the tire, uh, the briefcase, will elevate her back. And they could have any storylines they want with that if Charlotte's champion or if Bayley. But I don't know if everyone's seen it already, so maybe they won't do it. But I feel like Sasha Banks is going to win the money in the bank. There you go, the men's. Okay, the men's one. My pick is someone who was so close winning it last year. He had his hands on the briefcase and Brock Lesnar came out. I think Mustafa Ali will win the men's money in the bank. He's, he's, a, he's a fan favorite. You know, he's one of the best in the roster, I think. He's got it, money in the bank. I had someone written down now, but I'm gonna change my. I feel like it's someone who has a lot of potential, they just can't seem to. Uh, doesn't have any opportunities on TV at the moment. But he does at the moment now, but he didn't before. I'm going Alistair Black. I had Ricochet, but I thought about it carefully. I'm like, Alistair Black seems like someone who would win money in the bank and then just you know he, he seems like someone would be good to do that the tease briefcase with so i think alistair black would be mr money in the bank in 2020. okay next for our predictions is the nxt call up i've gone with the most obvious one you could think of i'm going with Shayna baszler <laughs> i feel like her time in nxt is well she's now no longer the women's champion in nxt i feel like her time on the roster on NXT is done and she's just gonna move on to better things on Raw and SmackDown and she'll be a dominant force on those shows. Whether it be Raw or SmackDown, I don't know. Um, so for my pick, I'm not going with one person. I'm going with four people. <laughs> I see on the screen of Dara. Mainly because I think that they'll all lose titles at not all at the same time but at some point 2020 every single one of them will lose the titles and then some point during next year they'll all be on a roster not still together not still together still together yes not okay. Okay. Fucking around. Right. Yeah, it's really really i did have i did have a lot of people on my mind like a few obvious ones but i think that undisputed era has been there long enough to move up so i don't I, I don't think i feel like undisputed era is like Trump and Guy Garner, they're going to be staying in NXT for their whole careers. But that's just me. That's my opinion on it. Next one. <laughs> Who will be the surprise return of 2020? Now, do you want to go first? I can go first. You can go first. No, no, you go first. No, you're me go first. You can go first. All right. So, I don't know if it's going to happen. I'm actually still surprised that he sort of made a little bit of a comeback. And it's so obvious now. I thought CM Punk <laughs> just come back please. <laughs> I think CM Punk will return in 2020. It just even if like he's not wrestling, he'll return to WWE TV in some way. I just wish he wrestled again. Just, and leave like end in your career properly, not going through a table by Kane. Just, yeah. Um yeah, I went this is just in the news what I've been hearing recently, <laughs> so I've gone um, like I, I would have had CM Punk, but I just I don't know. I, don't think, I think CM Punk would come back eventually, but maybe not next year. Maybe the year after. Maybe give him a year in on uh, backstage, backstage, and see what happens. I've gone with what's being rumored around a lot at the moment. And that's Edge. 
That's my prediction for the surprise return next year. Don't know when he'll come, but it, whether it be WrestleMania, Raw Rumble, one of the Saudi shows, I feel like. If you've seen him where he looks on Instagram and stuff, he's looking in top shape. And I feel like if you really don't, like, I know like, some people like go in top shape just to feel better, but he's a wrestler. He used to be a wrestler. He's probably getting in shape to compete again. And he keeps denying it. And last time we saw someone keep denying it, they've now signed him if you yeah, look at John Morrison. John so I'm going with Edge making his return next year. The next one will be who will have a face turn next year. I've gone a very different... Uh, person here, but I think at this stage I could see them being a face because they're really fucking over. And that is the fiend, Bray Wyatt. I feel like maybe not now, maybe halfway through next year, like you no know, September to December. I feel like he will turn face because there's only so much you can do as a heel and Bray Wyatt's character. I feel like eventually he's just so popular at the moment. He will just have to. He will just have to be forced to be good. But I don't know if they'll do Fiend good, Bray bad, or the other way around, or both of it good. I just feel like eventually WWE will have run out of ideas with Bray Wyatt, and they will turn him face just to keep him fresh. That, that is a good pick. But I, I, I don't know if Bray Wyatt will turn face next year, but my pick for someone turning face is it's pretty much, I think, setting the groundwork currently on Raw. He has been injured for a while. And he currently isn't wrestling, but he will be back, I think, in 2020. I think Samoa Joe will turn face and feud with Seth Rollins and AOP going into 2020. I think Samoa Joe, uh, during his heel run, he's, he's always been cheered. Fans love him. And I think he'll finally make that turn to a face. Yeah. So now we've gone from face, now we're going to say who will be turning heel next year at one stage. So I've gone for not necessarily someone I think will turn heel, or I, I think they will, but I kind of want them to turn heel. And that's The Miz. Because The Miz has done nothing since he's back. He's, he had the Shane McMahon thing at WrestleMania, and then after that, he's done nothing. You had The Fiend. Bro, what? Yeah, but that's now. What's he done during that? Nothing. He did nothing. The only time Miz has been like really good was when he was a heel. And I think... He's probably gonna get dragged back to Raw like he always does. He gets back to Raw. I think the Miz will turn heel because, like I said, whoever the Fiend he's with, he just goes back and forth. <laughs> I think the Miz will turn bad, or you could perform a tag team with John Morrison. Who knows? But I think the Miz will turn. Miz and Morrison bring him back. <laughs> um, I've gone. I've gone something very different. You're probably not gonna like this, but I feel like this will be later on in the year as well, not like now at this stage. But I feel like WWE will run out of ideas for this guy as well and have to turn him heel. And that's Kevin Owens. I know it's not, I don't like it. I don't like it, but it's my prediction. I feel like they're gonna be like, we've ran out of ideas, we're turning him heel. It's like when they, you know, when they, like, how many times Randy wants to face him heel in the past few months? Or years? Yes. Just, when they run out of things for a superstar, they turn him heel. I feel like that's what's gonna happen with Kevin Owens this year. Or oh, next year, sorry. Next year, he will turn from face to heel again. I know he's over as hell, but I feel like WWE doesn't really notice that. They do notice it, but not a lot, and they'll turn him heel just for storyline purposes and just for fresh ideas. Breakout star of 2020. I have gone with someone who he said before, I'm going with the star for Ali. I feel like he's just a pop. I just like Ali, really, that's all it is. And I just I just think he's, he had a few matches at uh, this year at Fastlane, and he had all at the Chamber as well, and he's had some great matches. Like, he's been, Pushed well enough to get those big opportunities. I mean, he's a pretty popular guy as well. I mean, I, I can feel like he'll be a good like merchandise seller, kind of like a Ricochet. How Ricochet was this year, I feel like Ali could do that next year if he gets given the opportunities. Maybe Intercontinental title or United States, whatever show he's on. I feel like Ali, almost after Ali, will be the breakout star of 2020. So, funnily enough, my breakout star is also Mustafa Ali. Um, I've seen I've, I've seen a lot of people say that Mustafa Ali will be WWE champion in 2020. I would like to see that, and it could happen. It might not happen like straight away. It might happen by the end of 2020. But it's like Mike I said before, he's just a good performer and he's a likable dude. That's it. Very likable. 
All right, the final prediction we have is a headline we will see in 2020. Julian, what is your headline? So my headline for 2020 that we'll see is Charlotte Flair becomes 16-time women's champion. <laughs> Ric Flair has said that she doesn't like the way WWE's booking her. WWE will do this by giving her, how many times she's on 12 now? I reckon she'll get 16 by the end of 2020. Oh, I've got a sadder approach. <laughs> I've gone something I don't I, This is something I don't want to see But I could see it coming maybe this year or next year Maybe he, they'll announce it for next year But it'll be announced this year So it'll be the headline I feel like the article is going to read Daniel Bryan announces his retirement From professional wrestling I hate that I said that But I feel like He's done nearly everything I know the guy's still over as fucking hell But I feel like Daniel Bryan will retire. Either he'll announce his retirement this year, or he'll announce it for next year. I don't want him to retire. I don't want him to retire either, but I feel like that's what it's going to be announced. Those were our predictions. Um, we're going to react to them next year and see how close we were in anything. Probably nothing. We'll yeah, see. Probably everything wrong. But um, thank you for watching. We are really close to 7,000 subscribers, which is thanks to all you guys. I mean, the support we get is great. Um, it's just... Like crazy 7,000 subscribers as crazy as it is but um yeah if we get to that thank you so much um hope you all have a had a great christmas and a great new year and we'll see you in 2020 for more universe mode and other things we got going on the channel thank you and goodbye bye